today I'm on the rooftop at the Creative Discovery Museum and I'm sharing our Milk Crate Garden. I get probably more questions about the Milk Crate Garden than any other piece of garden up here on the rooftop. So I thought it'd be fun to share it with you today. One of the things I really encourage you to do in this great weather, it's a little brisk this morning, but it's the perfect time to be thinking about your spring garden and ultimately your summer garden. So get out there right now and see what's blooming. Behind me, you'll see the blueberries are in blossom. The lemon balm, which is an herb, is uh, really green and verdant right now. And our thyme is over there, it's starting to green up. Great cooking herb. And the strawberries have blossomed, so that means that the fruit is not far behind. So, before you get started, you need to gather some materials. And the first thing you need, of course, is a milk crate. I bought all of these milk crates, actually two big pallets full from Uline, but you can buy them just about anywhere. And uh, buy them online because you know you don't want to uh, get too close to folks these days, right? So the other thing you're going to need is a little piece of cardboard, and that's going to be the template for cutting out our landscape fabric. You're going to need a pair of scissors and last landscape fabric. Obviously, you're not going to be able to plant right into a milk crate because it's got lots of holes, right? And all the soil will just fall through. So what I'm going to show you is how to cut the landscape fabric so that you can keep that soil in your milk crate garden and grow some delicious things for you and your family. The other thing you're going to need is a staple gun. You've got to have a way to keep that landscape fabric from just kind of falling down into the bottom of your milk crate. So make sure you have plenty of staples and a uh, staple gun. Then you're going to need some seeds. I've got some seeds here that are perfect for right now, which is this cool spring season for planting. Things like um, sugar snap peas, lettuce, uh, radishes, and beets. Those are all really, really great things to grow in your garden. You know, the thing about beets, I don't really like them, but they really are fun to grow. And then I had some pickled on a salad, and I'm like, I can grow that and pickle it and have something delicious to add to my salad. The other thing you're going to need is some potting soil. So this came from Barn Nursery. They're a great sponsor of the museum. They sponsor the gardens up here. But you can buy potting soil at any big box store around town. Um, if you like to use garden gloves, you can use them. If you don't and you just want to get your hands down in that soil, that's good too. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is cut your piece of cardboard so that it will fit down inside your milk crate garden. So my milk crates are 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches deep. And so this is, I'm gonna guess, about 11. I didn't really cut it, but I measure it. What I did was I went around this way, traced it on the outside, and then I just trimmed it down until it fit. You know, if you wanna measure, go for it, but that way I knew I had a square. All right, so the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna roll out your landscape fabric and you're going to trace the pattern. So think about it, you're going to need four flaps for the sides and one flap for the bottom. So I used a piece of chalk and I just laid my template down and drew around the outside edges. Make sure your landscape fabric is at least three feet wide because that's how much you're going to need to get all three of your squares, right? So trace around and trace around. You're going to do that six, or excuse me, nine times. Three up and three across, right? And you'll have one in the center. I used a piece of chalk, but you could use anything that would show up. Excellent, now, oh, this is a very important tip. So, and I know this from experience, it's very easy to cut away the wrong part. So the corners are what you want to cut away. So I put a big X on there. Cut these away, right? So in the four corners that I don't need, right up here, I put a big X so that I would know to cut those pieces out and leave the remainder, okay? So once you've got that drawn out, you're going to use your scissors and you've got a large <laughs> X, <laughs> which is flying around. Let's see if I can hold it out here. There you go. Got it. 
big X. All right, so now you're going to put your X inside your milk crate and you want the piece on the bottom with the four pieces on the top. I kind of use some little excess on the top sort of to fold it over so that it doesn't just all go sliding in. There we go. See how I've lined the uh, milk crate with the landscape fabric. Now you're just going to use your staple gun and press really hard. And I will start at the top just so I don't keep uh, having the landscape fabric falling down inside. Make sure you keep the bottom down so that it's nice. Straight down there. This is not rocket science. You don't have to worry about making it beautiful and perfect. If you want to, you can continue to put some staples down the side and a few at the bottom. But really all you need is at the top. Now you're ready for the fun part, potting soil. All right, so just fill your uh, milk crate garden up with some good quality potting soil. Just dump it in there. Excellent, very good. I like to fill it up to at least the handles. You see the handles? But if you've got enough and you want to put it all the way up, you can get a couple more inches of soil in there. All right, now here comes the fun part, planting your seeds. So there's a great book out called Square Foot Gardening. That's really what you're doing here is square foot gardening. You've got a square foot of soil. So like I mentioned before, you could put some uh, sugar snap peas that will grow up tall. If you have uh, like a little trellis or something, you could put that in here so that it gives you something to grow up. And then you could put your um, beets and your lettuce and your radishes around the bottom. So you can plant it fairly densely because there's no weed competition. I love that about the square foot gardening. No weeds in my milk crate garden, right? It's awesome. And then when the weather warms up, say like the 1st of May, if those are finished, pull them out, plant it again with some warm season crops like um, beans. I love beans. You could grow some beans. You could grow uh, one tomato. You could grow any of those warm season crops. Probably not corn. Corn I've tried in here. It just is too big and has a massive root system. Doesn't work very well. But we love to grow kale for our critters here. Um, pretty much anything that you can think of other than corn, you can try in your square foot, in your, I keep calling it a square foot garden. It's a milk crate garden, but it is a square foot. It's a square foot milk crate garden. How's that? So I hope you give it a try. It's a really fun way to create a garden that's portable if you need to move it from um, out of the shade. Sometimes we have a lot of trees that are going to be coming out in leaf and something that's sunny right now uh, is not going to be sunny in another month or two when all the leaves on the trees are out. So pick it up and move it. So it's if you move or you've got to go um, away on vacation, you could take your square foot garden your milk crate garden to uh, a neighbor to watch for you. So it's a really, really handy way to garden. Hope you give it a try.